How's it going guys? It's me, Adam, aka CastleRock15, and welcome to uh, the second part of Until Dawn for the PlayStation 4. Last time we left off, we sort of got the prologue there with uh, Hannah and her sister, What's-Her-Face. It didn't go out so well, and now we just got to talk with what seemed to have been uh, the love child of Michael Douglas and Danny DeVito. And it seems like we're playing him next, so with that said, let's ply on with the next uh, chapter. I actually think uh, in the last part I may have uh, seen this one. Oh no, actually, no, it started off with uh, the intro there. Super massive games. What a song. Until dawn. It sounds very something you would hear from The Last of Us. Oh. Hidden Panettiere. So. Ah, yes. These are probably the names of the unfortunate souls that are probably going to get bumped off in this game. And even the cockroach lives. Nicole Bloom. Jordan Fisher. Well, let's see. These are some names of, uh... You know, it's kind of, like, cool in a way as well. You've You've, I mean, you would expect, like, this to be, like, a game with, uh, familiar voices, but no, that's what I kind of enjoy about, uh, for some parts of, say, movies or games. You know, you get voices, you know, you've probably never heard of, and I will say, they do fit the character quite well. Unless, of course, it's that Fantastic Four reboot, where that movie was god-awful. <laughs> Well, to give credit, the only thing I liked about uh, the cast from the Fantastic Four was the guy who played uh, the Human Torch, or Johnny Blaze. Because he was in that movie Chronicle, and you know what? I kind of liked it, but to be fair, he was the only character I... Like, between the two superhero movies he was in, Chronicle was really my favourite. Because, well, obviously, the Fantastic Four right. reboot was... Well, hello, Anyways. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the... And I'm super excited that I don't even know the word of blinking. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's going to be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year. Dude, blink. I just want you all to know. You're almost as bad as Michael O'Devito. Oh, so much I think we've seen a blink. Oh, Beth. Oh, okay. So a nameless girl did have a name. Probably didn't even listen to it. Oh, there we go. We've seen a definite blink. Anyways. Ooh. Well, all we do know is that this character here, obviously the fire guy, must be the uh, bad guy, or the antagonist. But then again, like, the uh, story does develop there, I mean, you never know, because we did see him holding out a hand to save Beth and Hannah. 
So I take it then, if I had dropped Hannah, he would have kidnapped Beth and it, would that have changed the outcome? Like, would that cutscene would have played out? I wonder. Mm-hmm. One. Memetu Mori. Ten hours. Until dawn. Oh, come on! Seriously, Jason? Can you not leave us alone for five minutes? Sam. Hannah's best friend. Okay, so now we're taking the role of Sam, aka Hello? Hannah's best friend. Someone there? Uh, no. Ooh. Okay, let us play on with this. Did it? 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 Jason Voorhees! <laughs> Black... Oldness... Oh. Eh. The gates bust. Oh. God damn it, Chris. Yep, looks like we are climbing over. So I wonder... Ah! Ah, I get ya, so the wee blinking lights. Mm. You know what? Ah... Uh, well, I, whenever I was went, go, went off to save Hannah, I decided to go... Or, okay, attempted to save Hannah. I went with the safe route. Let's see what happens if we go quick. Whoa! Uh. Okay, I think it's safe to say you can jump. Wait, hold on, was that I is this ice I'm walking on? Oh. Man, but I'm telling you, this is No, don't trust it. Huh? <gasps> Aw. Oh. No, you know what, uh Sam? It's good because you know what? Squirrels are assholes. See? They steal your nuts. Is this really mandatory? Okay. That's it. Come on. Oh, hold the wireless control. Oh. Freaking arsehole squirrel. Stole my nuts. Oh, okay. Heck, I'm still getting used to it. Anyways, info a bit about Sam. Her honesty is so and so, charitable is high, brave is high. Eh, low on romantic. Oh, she definitely has a hit for Jess and Mike. The twins. Not found. Oh no, the twins are missing. I knew it. I knew we shouldn't have given him the striker. He was probably making them enhanced to take on the Avengers. Do 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 do. Ooh. 
Ah, we're getting a bit more details about the butterfly effect. Death, black butterflies, perceptive damage, loss, guidance, tribute. Alright, let's get a better insight to this. Indigenous people and butterfly prophecies. Tribes who once lived in the mountains believed that butterflies carried dreams and prophecies of pro possible futures. The colour of the butterfly indicated the nature of the prophecy. Death, black butterflies, prospect the dreamer's death. Danger, red butterflies, warned of dangerous events. Loss, brown butterflies, foretold of tragic affecting friends. Guidance, yellow butterflies, offered visions to help and guide. And fortune, white butterflies, brought dreams of luck and good fortune. Okay then, so, uh, just going from that, uh, white is good. Uh, we'll want to have a bit of guidance for the yellow. Steer clear of the top two, and, eh, we'll give or take with, uh, brown. This thing again. Ugh. Oh. Oh, very good. Okay, so picking this up allows you to, like, uh, make premonitions. Guidance. Ah, okay, so these are what these things are for. The totems? Ah, I get ya. Hmm. Ooh, let's have a wee Jeff over here. The past is beyond our control. Okay. Well, with that said, let's head in. Let's get this party started. Hello? Nothing. Let's get this party started somehow. Oh, someone left their bag. Well, maybe he is. Maybe it's his head. Uh, I'll go on. I swear, if there's those people asking for insurance again. Hey, it's Chris. A.K. has a crush on Ashley. Please rephrase that last one. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see it for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. Gonna blow Ironically, Chris kind of looks like the Chris from Lincoln Park. Yeah, Lincoln Park concert. Yeah. Come on, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? What the hell? Is it's a good view of my concert. Do you like it? Ironically, you could say even if uh, whatever happens to Chris, in the end, it doesn't even matter. Ah, uh, do we have to go on the Call of Duty turf? Oh, oh well, alright, alright. Yes, okay, we get it. Hey, 
Uh, yeah. Oh, I have to eat him. Oh, okay. Oh, man, I thought you could pick your own target. What a chip. Anyways. Huh. <laughs> I'm bad, I'm bad, really, really bad. No, can't sing anymore, otherwise I'll get content I did. You know I'm bad. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. <laughs> Not the squirrel! Oh yes, we're gonna get this asshole. Steal on my nuts, will you? Never again will you steal my nuts. Bullseye. What are you doing? How could you do that? Chris, that is so effed up. What? That poor little guy was alive about ten seconds ago. Oh, come on. Squirrels just... And ten seconds later, he was dead. No, oh, you know what? I'm with Chris. Freaking arsehole stole my nuts. Jesus, are, are you okay? This mountain is freaking me out already. Jeez Louise. Alfred Hitchcock is uh, happening here. And it seems we're taking the role of Chris. Right, when's the Linkin Park concert happening? Clue. Blue's Clues. Ooh, a clue. Wanted poster. Find. Lower cable car station. A torn up wanted poster by... Fugitive on the mountain, dated 1998. Victor Milgram. Last known address, Blackwood. Pines. Mm. Nice. You think we'll get a visit from America's Most Wanted? Looks like someone thought so. Oh, come on. This place is abandoned most of the year. Nobody comes up here. You know what? I must admit, um... Back, if you had asked me this uh, to play like one of these like yeah, click and point or yeah one of these click and point games like I don't know I wouldn't have like a ideal opinion on the matter but you know what I'm actually fairly enjoying this you know like it's a mere matter of like choose their fate they almost even have the same thing in Call of Duty Black Ops 2 like, where you could pretty much decide what to do and what the outcome of the ending of the game would be. Like, if you didn't save, say, Karma, or what would have happened if you killed Menendez or shot Harper. Even so, I wouldn't have shot Harper. I mean, why would you want to kill flipping Michael Ricker's character? Alright, well, let's have a look around. See if we can have a nosy. Blackwood Pines. What a crazy place to set up house. No matter how rich you are. We're not so rich. We only need to fall out a mountain. Let's investigate. Have a look, see what's all about. Ooh, a hot tub. Now, knowing horror movies. Come on. Wait for the uh, jump scare. Come on. Anytime. Jump scare. Aww. Boy. Alright, we've wasted enough time. Come on, let's go see if this uh, Linkin Park concert's starting yet. Maybe, uh, take a break from the concert. Just like going to the prom. Here we go. Right. Adventure begins. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? You know, getting everyone together on the anniversary. Him and Josh seem really pumped about it all. 
seemed so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell me. Yeah, screw that. Couldn't we have just taken the car? No, no. It was, it was a good idea. Or the bus. Everyone else is going the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Bro, good talk. <laughs> you know what? Let's just, let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Ah, you know what? You're right. No, no. Keep talking. Because you know what happened if you stop talking. <laughs> cable cart will break. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and <gasps> friends. To and that's day. how... Sam and Josh, no, Chris and Josh become best friends. And then Chris left him to start the band, Linkin Park. Yeah, you could have been talking to... so-and-so from... uh, breaking thousand foot... Uh, 182. Yeah, the lead singer from that band. And say hello to Jess, Mike's new girlfriend. Confident, trusting. Uh, whatever that last word is. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Jessica. Time to meet and greet. Who's that girl? It's Jess. Jeez. What the hell? Jess, hey. Jessica, over here. Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? We'll give you your own spinoff show. Okay, I may have made it a wee bit traumatic there. Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, <laughs> Drama oh, queen. Skin and bones. Nope, wrong band. I'm just doing like Sam taught me. Other people's private thoughts in my own personal playground. Do not be a jerk. My goodness. Seems Butterfly effect updated. Good friend and dear class president Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Hmm. You know what? Give it back. Give that back, you tool. Tool and die. That's my motto. Oh, you're such an idiot. Maybe nosy Nancy shouldn't go nosing around in other people's nostrils. Uh, yeah, I, I try not to do that as a rule. Come on, Jess, you can tell us. But that's how I do, and that's how I write my songs. Whatever. You'll figure it out eventually. All right, all right. Let's just get up to the lodge already. I'm getting tired of all this. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? Uh, I mean, you know, whoever. Uh -huh. Yeah, whoever. <laughs> Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Alright, that cable car went off too fast. And here we have Emily, Mike's ex. Hmm. And yet, whenever you think of ex, I don't know. Not very trustworthy. And now we have Matt. He's an awesome dude. And where's the bellboy when you need one? Washington Lodge. Alright then, well seeing that's a new chapter, I think I'll leave this part off here guys, so you know what, thanks for watching, and you know what, I will see all you guys in the next part. See you then.